So it's always nice to have good high-speed internet where you need it. I have a garage out back, this conduit is going to my garage. Um, I have RG6 running through there uh, for satellite television. And I have two UTP cables, which are uh, Cat5. However, they are used for alarm control, door control, etc. They're not used for network. And I need all those twisted pairs for what they're doing. This cable is <coughs> RG58, which was run out there again 20, year, 20 plus years ago um, when Ethernet was 10 base 2 and coax based in a ring format. So I have this cable running out there to the garage and I've been using a power line adapter previously which plugs into an outlet and uh, sends your internet signal, your uh, data over the power line but throughput has been very poor because I'm on the limit of distance. So I'll show you what I did to run Ethernet over coax works extremely well and uh, uh, has been uh, bulletproof so far. So what you're looking at is a uh, Ethernet to coax adapter. Um, this is RG58 cable. They're meant to work with RG59. This is a different impedance than your standard uh, in-house coax, but it does work for the distance I have, no problem. Um, and basically, you have an F connector here, which is like your uh, cable TV connectors. And uh, the coax is connected to this end. On the other end of the adapter, I have a power supply and a plug for the Ethernet cable. So <clears throat> these units come in pairs. <clears throat> these ones are by DirecTV, and they were only about $40 a pair. They work great. comes with uh, <clears throat> two power supplies and two transmitters. And the Ethernet cable is everything you need. The green lights are showing the network is on and connected at the other end. So basically, I'm taking my home router, which is actually, my internet is fed by an old cell phone through the Asus router for the whole home, uh, and is now being transmitted to the garage over an uh, ethernet to coax adapter, uh, and then reverse at the other end. So I'll show you what I have in the garage. So my garage is quite a distance from the house. Uh, I'm back here. <clears throat> My cable run is uh, the actual cable length itself is probably approaching 100 feet. So <clears throat> it is a good distance. It's too far to get reasonable or usable Wi Fi. <clears throat> so uh, what I have here, as you can see, here's the other end uh, basically, uh, Ethernet cable connecting to the bottom of the adapter. It has power. And then on this end, we have an Ethernet. UTP cable twisted pair out, standard RJ45 cable. <clears throat> that cable I have running to, this is a uh, uh, just a TP-Link um, Wi-Fi extender. But many of these extenders you can set up as access points. <clears throat> so in the setup of this, I went in and set it as an access point. That way when it's plugged in, it's not trying to repeat an existing Wi-Fi signal. It's taking what I plug into the bottom of it and it's just transmitting it on a new Wi-Fi network. So here we have uh, coming through via coax through the pipe from the house, uh, converted back to standard RJ45 Ethernet <clears throat> and then Wi-Fi in the garage. So the Wi-Fi in the garage is producing uh, a good 80 to 100 meg uh, download. So extremely fast, works great. Uh, and again, very inexpensive. Uh, these are roughly $40 a pair. Uh, these ones are direct TV and they're available on Amazon. If you search for um, uh, Ethernet to coax uh, converters, you will find these. Uh, excellent unit and solve my problem. Hope this helps somebody else.